love art class. It's the best class ever. Right, Dusk? Yeah, it's okay. I think it's your thing, Drip Drop. I'm not so super crafty and artsy, you know. Anyway, you have fun. Don't worry. Hey, Brooke, my station's got markers. And mine's got flowers. What am I going to need flowers for? It's so you can paint them, silly. Anywho, when's the class going to start? <laughs> am I late? I don't want to be late to art class. I couldn't find anything. Not my headband. Not my art supplies. I'm a mess. Yeah, you are. What happened to your hair, Spraddles? Yes, it looks like you just woke up. Yeah, you couldn't get your big sister or something to help you with your hair? I know. My hair is so messy. I couldn't find anything. And um, I, I really, really was in a rush to get you. Kiddos, get to your art stations because class is about to start. Who are you? Only your big sister and your art instructor. But you don't look like our art instructor. Um, is there a certain look to an art instructor? Well, no. I just thought you look a little more, I don't know, artsy. Yeah, well, I'm your big sister and I'm your art instructor. So, skedaddle, to your art station you go. Oh, uh, okay, big sister. But I think you're in line for a makeover. Um, someone with a super messy hairdo is telling me I'm in line for a makeover. No, so, it's only today. I lost my headband. Just a second. Where, where are you going? You mean this thing right here? Hey, how'd you find it? That's my headband. Yeah, well, told you. I'm your big sister. Big sisters are professionals at things like this. Oh, you really are my big sister. But you still need a makeover. Did someone say makeover? Because we can sure help with that. Hey everyone, it's Cupcake here. Today we have another big sister makeover and Drag Racer is filling in once again. We're gonna give her OMG Splatters makeover. So she's gonna be looking artsy fartsy. I've already got her sketched out here. So we've got something to go off of. Here she is. I think she represents the OMG style pretty good. And we also got her looking like splatters. So this is what we're going for. Let's see how close we can get. You guys know the process. Let's get the makeover party started. And what we need to do first is chop off all her hair and start rooting some new hair. We've got Hatsune Green with Truly Outrageous for the two colors that I'm going to be using. So now I'm going to start by heating her head with my heat gun and getting the plastic soft enough so I can get her head off. Why not a step number one? Here you go. We're gonna leave this to the side for a little bit. Now I'm gonna start cutting her hair off and start the rerouting process. Going off of my drawing, one side is going to be pink and the other side is going to be that teal color. So here we go. Now that we're at the Cynthia stage of hair, I'm going to take my tweezers and start plucking out all of those tiny spiky hairs from her neck hole. This is always fun. The sarcasm meter just went up a huge notch. Here we go. Okay, so I've got the hair off of her head. Now let's get it out of her head. I see some hair, but not too much. Let's see if I'm right. There's the first puff of hair. Let's keep going and empty her head so we make room for the new hair. Yes. Okay, so here is all I have. I've got like a little puff of hair, like a hairy little furball. Now I did come across a problem. I don't know how this is gonna pan out, but there's a rip in her head. I don't know why it would be there. Maybe it came this way from the factory, but I'm going to buff her head out and then paint the colors I need so that we can start rooting her hair. Hopefully this rip doesn't run either way because then her head is going to rip in half. So 
Kind of giving her a quick buffaroo. This will help the paint stick better to her head. The faster we get OMG splatters to her art class, the better. For her paint, I'm going to use peony pink for the pink part and peacock teal for the, well, teal part. For added protection of my paint not scraping off while I'm rebooting her hair, I find that adding some Liquitex matte varnish helps keep the paint on there longer. Okay, now we are ready to reroute. I've got my hair out. It's so silky, soft, and smooth. You can see the shine and the silkiness. I'm gonna take this a little bit off, spray this down with my spray bottle to get it wet, because rooting wet doll hair is much easier and less tangly than rooting dry doll hair, and you get to save more of your hair that way, because the wetness separates the strands for you much better than it would if it was dry. Don't mind me, just spraying my doll hair. Call me weird, but what I like to do with the water that I put in my spray bottle is I like to take some of whatever perfume that I love to wear or love to smell and I spray some of it in the water inside my bottle. That way, my doll hair smells nice and pretty. And also, the oils from the perfume, they help separate the hairs even better. Now I'm gonna take a tiny bit of the doll hairs, about that much is good, and I'm gonna Scoop it up into my rerouting tool. This is also from the Doll Planet. I just customized the tip with some puffy paint. Cause you guys know me, I like to customize everything. Here we go with the first hair and we're doing it on the teal side. Ta-da! She looks pretty already. Now let's do the rest super speed.
all the hair is rooted, I went ahead and made a lot of extra holes in her head. So we have a full amount of hair on each side because she had a whole lot of spaces with literally no plugs. So there was no space for me to put any hair in and I didn't want her to have any bald spots. Now at this point, I'm going to glue all of this hair down with some fabric tack and then wait the two to three hours so that the glue is on there solid and then we'll go ahead and boil wash her hair. I'm gonna make sure I have a nice good wad of glue covering all of the hair inside her head. While we're waiting for her head to dry, it's time to start building her outfit. This piece I'm gonna use for her skirt and it doesn't really matter the color of the fabric that I'm using at this point because I'm going to paint over it with fabric paint. For the top, I'm gonna make sure it's on the stretch side of the fabric because I want it to fit her right. And I'm gonna use the pattern that I created a while ago for my OMG top. But we're gonna tweak it a little bit to have a peekaboo kind of cut out a sleeve in the shoulder area. Now it's time for everyone's favorite sewing machine, Bertha. So Bertha's been really good. She's actually been social distancing and being really responsible. Yes, sewing machines are responsible, but today we are in dire need of an outfit. So she's back. So here we go, time to build an OMG outfit. Taking her existing capri pants, I'm gonna go ahead and cut these up a little bit to create the shorts underneath her skirt. And then I'm gonna start painting all the details with some fabric paint. Oh yeah, I forgot to do her suspenders. I'm gonna do them out of the same fabric. They're little pencil suspenders. We don't wanna miss that detail. So I'm gonna seal off the frayed edges with some fabric tack and start making those.
So we did things a little bit differently this time. We worked on her outfit first and now I'm going to boil wash her hair. You guys can see it's all poofy and fluffy and we don't want it that way. We want it nice and sleek and more tame. Then I'm going to start doing her face up and working on some of her accessories. So now I'm off to boil wash. Bye. 2,000 years later. Well, what do you know? We're back. And her hair is much better. Now it's time for a quick haircut because those ends ain't it, sis. Now I don't need her hair to be super long because I kind of want it like the picture. So I'm gonna cut it about right here is good. To build her brush belt, I'm gonna use some of this Warbler, which is meltable, moldable plastic. All we need is some heat from my heat gun, and it'll make it nice and gummy so I can shape it the way I want it.
Using some toothpicks and epoxy sculpt, I'm going to make her some paintbrushes. her choker so I've got this tiny little piece of warbler that I'm going to cut to the size of her neck and then I'm going to print a miniature little Crayola box to be her charm so here is my teeny tiny little Crayola marker box that I printed out it's so tiny to make it a little bit stronger, what I'm gonna do is place this on several layers of cardstock and then put some Mod Podge on it. That way, it's an actual charm and not just the flimsy little piece of paper. Ridiculous. We've been waiting for a long time. Where is the art instructor? Yeah, it really has been a long time. I think I'm just gonna call my mommy. Well, hang on, hang on guys. Maybe uh, she's gonna be here. I don't want to miss art class. I really want to draw something Halloween themed. Yeah, my sister should be here. I don't want to miss art class either. It's the highlight of my week. Hey, what are you munchkins still doing here? Aren't you supposed to be going back home right now? Oh, big sister, I wasn't expecting you. Yeah, well, mom said to come pick you up because it's time to go home. No, I don't want to go home. Hey, not so fast. Art class is in session. Wow, OMG. Whoa, yeah, OMG. Where did you come from? Yay, I get to paint a pumpkin. Oh, boy, though. OMG Splatters is finally here and class is in session. Art class, that is. The 
the funnest class ever. Time for her close up. What? Nobody invited me? Nobody cares for the Widow Sisters. Wah! Gunk skunking. Yeah, some big sisters fail. Okay, you may now proceed with the close up. So, she has got a French beret covered with paint all over. OMG Splatters is my spirit animal. This is exactly how I craft. There is not one single outfit of mine that doesn't have paint splatters or some type of craft boo-boo on it. I am probably the most messiest crafter there is. Let's take a look at her hair. We've got brand new rooted hair. One side is pink and one, oh, oops. And one side is teal. That's okay. We're going to need to take a closer look at her hair anyway, so her hat can wait for a second. I just kept it straight and cut it just a little bit. It's not mermaid length hair. Let's take a closer look at her face. She's also got paint in her eye. That doesn't look too pleasant. Probably hurt a lot. She's going to need to wash that off. I gave her light pink eyeshadow, and she's also got these cute paint splatter freckles on her nose. She's got some mauve colored lipstick and I've also made some custom painter's palette earrings with pins, wire, and some epoxy sculpt. She's got a cute little Crayola markers choker. I've also made her a custom cold shoulder top with paint splatters all over, some color pencil suspenders, a paint splattered skirt with double colored shorts. One side is teal and one side is pink. She's got a painter's brush belt with four removable paint brushes in different sizes, some mesh gloves. I kept her nail color the same because it's orange and it matches with the theme. I didn't want to get everything in those yellow, teal, and pink and purple colors. She's also got mesh socks and I gave her Busy BB's shoes with paint splatters. Girlfriend's got everything paint splattered just like me. Even my shoes have paint splatters in them. She's amazing! Now when do I get to paint my pumpkin? She's so artsy. So this is who we have in the Splatters family so far. We're still working on them. Oh yeah, and I totally forgot to let you guys know the name of the last OMG makeover that I did, which was one of our mermaid sisters. Our oh so lovely OMG Mer Baby Big Sister. You guys chose a whole bunch of good names, but the one I really liked was Coral. So her name is officially now Coral. You guys know the drill. As usual, you guys name her in the comment section. I really want to know what you guys think she should be called. Click the thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't already, and until next time, I will see you later. Bye for now.